been a while since we've seen this fly on the channel and we're back with the citation. This is a beautiful airplane, but one of my favorite features is this. It just comes together in the box in one piece. Let's go, we're gonna climb it and snap it. It's gonna be hard to see in those white clouds, but there we go. A little bit of a snap into a dive and pull up just in time before we hit the ground. Zero throttle pass. This is one of UMX's best looking planes and by far one of the best looking planes in my entire collection. The attention to detail is extraordinary and I love these little micro lights on here. It just brings it to the next level. The front nose wheel is steerable. My favorite scale feature is the elevator. The entire control surface moves to make the plane fly up and down. Check out the lights underneath too. This thing is beautiful. Let's fly. Abby, you ready for takeoff? Ready. Here we go. Oh, nice and scale. I just pulled back on that elevator so subtly. This plane looks amazing. Look at the lights. <laughs> if it had retracts, oh my goodness. The first UMX to ever have retracts will be just an insanely awesome day. Oh, this plane, look, can you see the lights? They look really good. Now, don't let a high detailed plane like this intimidate you because this actually has safe technology. I am flying in safe technology and safe mode right now. You can basically fly completely hands free. This plane has auto leveling for a more beginner pilot. And you don't need a lot of space to fly this little plane either. It can go fast and eat up a lot of space quickly, but I'm just cruising around at about 40% throttle right now. Very calm day. Abby, let's do a full throttle pass. Are you ready? Ready. Here's full throttle. Oh my gosh, I forgot Very how fast, fast that is. This is a twin motor EDF. That's an electric ducted fan. Now we're gonna put our nose into the wind. We have a little breeze, but we're going quick. And on the next pass, I'm gonna turn safe off so we can pull off a few maneuvers with this plane to get it out of scale mode. That's the whole point of RC in my opinion. So here <laughs> we go. To not fly scale. Go. Safe off, climb it, roll it around and dive down to the ground. We're gonna fly this thing like a fighter plane. Here we go, rolling it. <laughs> We're gonna roll it the other way. <laughs> the roll rate is fantastic on this. It's very snappy and super predictable too. Let's get it upside down and see if we can fly inverted. Oh, that's full elevator. I don't know if I've ever flown this upside Ooh, down. That is full watch elevator. The hill. Full elevator. Let's roll it back over. Oh that was gosh. a little too much for me. And I want to see if we can snap roll this too. So this is getting pretty exciting after that full elevator <laughs> inverted pass. Let's go. We're going to climb it and snap it. It's going to be hard to see in those white clouds. But there we go. A little bit of a snap into a dive and pull up just in time before we hit the ground. Zero throttle pass. That's pretty cool. Now you may notice certain RPMs of this little Citation gets a little bit loud, but when you're cruising at full throttle, it's not so bad. It still is a screaming little jet, but it's not as bad when you hit that full throttle. Those RPMs get a little quieter. They just sound better. We're gonna swing it around really fast here. Now I don't wanna eat up my battery too quick, but this thing can be a nice aggressive flyer. but most people probably like to see this fly a little more scale. So we're gonna keep it scale and get a nice slow, low pass, maybe even a touch and go because we're here with asphalt. We might as well take advantage of it. So let's go in really zero throttle. Oh, that was really rough, kind of embarrassing. The reason it whipped around like that is because I came in way too fast. I'm gonna take off out of safe this time and see how that looks. I love that scale takeoff. And you can hear that like pulsing, um, the RPMs, uh, the, the, the sound of the motors just sound a little bit funky if you don't full throttle it. If you're somewhere around 50 to 60% throttle, it just sounds funny. It just, the way they sound together is just a little funky, but otherwise, listen to this low throttle pass. Sounds pretty good. But like I said, right around mid throttle, it just has that funky sound to it. Um, otherwise this thing is just perfect, really. Let's go roll. We'll double roll it. 
We're just cruising. Cruising at a mid throttle. Safe is completely off. But I'll tell you what, I still want to make a nice smooth landing. So let's see if I can bring it in slower and a little more gentle. No wipeout on this one. I, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't flown this in so long. I've got every excuse in the book, but that was definitely better. Let's keep going. Still safe off. And the wind is picking up some, guys. There's a little rudder on that. So a lot of bank and yank on this plane. It's very smooth on bank and yank flying. But if we hit rudder, we can really bank it very sharp, very sharp. So this is a bank and yank turn, just banking and pulling back on the right stick, and it looks really good. Some planes you do that and the nose gets up in the air. It does not look so great. You really don't even need that rudder on this airplane unless you're pulling a tight maneuver or just for steering on the ground. It's awesome. Let's kick safe on and go a nice full throttle pass, nose into the wind. Then we're gonna go full, full throttle with the wind and we'll probably bring it in for a nice smooth landing. Here we go, full throttle. Very nice. We're getting close to our five minute flight timer. We don't have telemetry on this, so with that wind picking up, we're getting ready to land soon. Here we go, full throttle. And I wanna land with safe on and just see if it helps me. I think that last landing redeemed my first one, <laughs> but this might be even better with safe on. The nose is in the wind. That's why I'm coming in at this funny angle. Zero throttle and flare. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I think my second landing was my best landing. <laughs> this thing taxis really well. I love how tight and maneuverable it is. And guys, if I had enough battery left, I would show you a hand launch on this. Just in case you're wondering, you don't have to fly off asphalt. You can hand launch it beautifully. Look at those beautiful lights. I don't know if you could pick that up while we were flying. Hopefully with this overcast day, it helps. But they're very bright and they look good. The light on the bottom looks great too. But those strobe lights on each wingtip, I can see those extremely well while I'm flying. And that's just really nice. This would have enough lights on it that you could fly it at night with success. And listen to this. That is the sound of the servos fighting to try to stabilize the plane. Now that's just in uh, the safe off mode. So even with safe off, you get a gust of wind and it tries to help fight that. With safe on, you have the ailerons constantly trying to fight to get that back to level. Same with the elevator and even the rudder. So uh, with the flip of a switch, you have this mode that can save you from a crash or help you learn to fly your plane when it's new. And it's really nice. It comes in so handy. One thing I like about this too, not only do you pull it out of the box and it's built, so you plug that battery in and you literally hold your bind button on your radio and it is bound up. There's no programming required to get this plane in the air. You can have these air ready way before your batteries are even charged, which is why I love UMX planes. We'll have this linked in the description box below. This isn't a brand new plane that just came out or anything, but it is awesome and it really deserved another flight on our channel just because it's been so long. It is beautiful too. Some guys, believe it or not, some guys have bought this airplane with intentions to never fly it just to have it on display because that's how good it looks and I can see why it really does look good this is linked in the description box below with the perfect battery and the radio that we were flying on and just know that if you use that link to buy this plane or anything else on the website after you click the link it helps support our channel and our family it really means the world to us I am so grateful to God for this hobby my wife and every one of you guys watching this life that he has given me the ability to wake up another day and just enjoy everything from the single blades of grass in our yard to just the grand amazing technology that surrounds us and we get to participate in I'm just I'm just really grateful and I just want to share that gratitude with you guys today after this flight just thank you for enjoying this journey with us we've been on YouTube nine and a half years so close to 10 years actually. And Abby and I were looking at some of our old videos on the channel just last night and it really made me reminisce and put things in perspective and just made me feel- I might have cried. <laughs> very lucky, she did tear up. I don't think anybody would be surprised that I cry about everything. It just meant a lot. We were reminiscing and it just meant a lot. So I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. A massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too because we couldn't do what we do without your support. You mean the world to us. And we'll have another awesome airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.